what's up well it is such an amazing day today it almost feels like a shame to waste it um, no wind it's hot too hot to stay home um, I'm glad I got another house yesterday and not today so I'm driving down the um, East Coast I'm trying to find somewhere to fly I haven't decided where yet or what I want to do but I just felt like a drive um, so I'm not sure what's gonna happen but so far everything just looks really 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 positive so I'm hoping for a great spot some inspiration so I can pull off the road and do something different Uh, I just pulled into Fondo. Um, it's such a lovely spot. I saw the gate open, so I pulled in. I figured the guy would be there. Paul. Paul is the guy that takes care of Fondo. And um, he's sitting there by himself, waiting for somebody to show up, he says, who wants to organize a lunch. I mean, it's such a sad, such a sad story with, with that location. It's beautiful. Um, lots of history, lots can happen. But um, it's just sitting there unused you know so anyway I didn't stay long we just had a little chat so I stopped to say hello and I'm on my way <laughs> well I'm still driving I haven't quite I haven't seen anything I haven't felt inspired um, nothing different so I'm just driving till I find something nice. In the meanwhile, it's like they say, it's not the destination, it's the journey. Well, I'm doing the journey. All right, well, just got, all right, well, just got a pretty nice flight in here, in, um, in January, fishing village. Um, I went out to the, the island, and then along the beach, along the coast. Lots of nice, nice things to see. Talk about a little inspiration. So um, I'm gonna head a little further south and see what I can find. But this was a nice stop so far. I'm really happy with it. So here we go. Saturday afternoon. Actually, the wind is, is stronger here than um, I thought it would have been. Not that bad, but it was it was strong. So no contact. All right. Right, <laughs> flight location number two. This is down on the Praline Beach with all of the seaweed. It was a really cool flight because I went from here up to um, Le Paradis and all the way across down to the village. So that was really nice. There were a bunch of little boys. Every time you fly a drone, they always show up. Mister, can I fly it? So we have to try and tell them when you can't fly it, you know. And then they want to know how I see in. So I'm showing them inside the goggles. So now they believe they can fly because now they can see. Anyway. I am off. This is um. This has been nice. Um, this is the family in the back there, and that's the. You should have filmed them. I didn't want to film the kids. I'm not ready. Um, yeah, well, that was cool. I had a really, really, really cool flight there, and a lot of interference from the little kids coming to talk to me about you know can they fly? Can they fly? But you know, it's okay. And I had their mothers here. Their mothers came to ask me what was happening. So it was nice. I'm just doing one more, one more location, and then I'm heading back up. Um, it's been quite an eventful day. Okay, I thought I was on one of those never-ending road to nowhere kind of places, but I saw a sign that says um, Fox Grove. That's somewhere I kept telling Eva about. And I'd been here one time a while back. Yeah, definitely looks like a road to nowhere, doesn't it? Um, I passed the Fox Grove in a while back. I'm just looking for a place to turn so I can go back and maybe get a shot of it. Um, it's a lot smaller than I remembered. I thought it was bigger than that, um, but it wasn't that big. Great location. I remember when I was there from the balcony, it was a really nice view, but of course you can't see the view from the road. So 
Let me try and find a place to turn. Yeah. It definitely looks like a road to nowhere, doesn't it? Um, I passed the Foxgrove in a while back. I'm just looking for a place to turn so I can go back and maybe get a shot of it. Um, it's a lot smaller than I remembered. I thought it was bigger than that, um, but it wasn't that big. Great location. I remember when I was there from the balcony, it was a really nice view. But of course, you can't see the view from the road. So let me try and find a place to turn. Yeah, I had been to Foxgrove in a while back for the um, small inns of solution. So I know where the place is. It's just that I never came back and um, I, told, I was telling Ava about Foxgrove and how it was a cool spot. Okay, well, I guess today's a cheat day because the closer I got to that bread place on the on the on the bad little there, the more I kept thinking about how hungry I was. So I'm gonna go get um, some bread. I haven't eaten bread in so long. I'm gonna get some bread. Eat that on the way home. <laughs> okay. So if you're gonna do a cheat day on your strict diet, go big or go brave. This is my go big. Well, that bread was good. Um, from the time I started climbing the bad level, that bread had been calling out to me. So I knew I was going to stop and eat the bread. Um, anyway, it was good, it was worth it, no regrets. Um, what the hell? Some madness on the road today, boy. Yeah, so that was a, a nice little meal. I am. Um, now in the Bexon Valley of Gillen Street is up. Well, that was a nice little meal. I am now in the Bexon Valley, heading back to Castries. It is 3.43, so I could very well be in Cabin State by 4, 4.30, depending on the traffic. But that was a really nice afternoon. I had a good time. Um, going back with all my equipment, which is always a good thing. Um, I have stuff to edit later, good thing. So, nice afternoon.